Today I've got some beautiful Dollar Tree DIYs. I'm Brandy, and this is Making It My Own DIYs. We're going to start off with a gorgeous fall floral swag, and it has sunflowers, y'all. We're going to take two of these Dollar Tree Christmas trees. I have a bunch of sunflowers here. Some of these picks. Some flowers. Just little clippings from what I had last year. Some more little random pieces. Some thrifted pieces. And then these also came from the thrift store. You can get as many picks and pieces as you would like from Dollar Tree, of course. That will be very similar. I'm going to take the two trees out of the box. We don't need the bottoms and legs. I'm going to overlap them so that their stems kind of go into one another. You'll start by pulling the tree apart, apparently. <laughs> by pulling the branches out and upward because we're going to be laying it down so it'll be flat then. I want to get two little spots available for me to put my zip ties on so that it will hold these tree trunks, if you will, together. So I'm going to just hold it tightly in one hand and go ahead and put this around one end. So this will be close to the end of one of them. And you want to cinch that all the way down and then go to the other side of your little branches and wrap that around. I don't think I'm doing a very good job explaining it, but you can see what I'm doing here. Then you're just going to clip off the extra because we don't need that part. Now you can really do the part where you fluff everything out and move it around. So putting these two trees together, we're going to have a 24 inch swag, which is perfect. And I'm just going to pull the little branches to the side. And like you saw just a minute ago, sometimes they'll come off, but that's not a big deal. These are not really going to be something that's going to make this beautiful. This is something that's going to help us attach all of our florals down to the base. So this is just really our bottom. You won't see much of this whenever we're done. Continue to fluff out from side to side so that you have it flat on the bottom and pull each one of those apart. Sometimes they're kind of stacked together, just like those two. So just be sure you pull them apart because that's going to help you whenever you put your florals down. You'll have more little picks to, or little uh, tie areas to hold your, your products down, in other words. So this is what it's going to look like. It's thicker in the middle and more tapered on the ends. And then I'm just showing you here that we have about 24 inches. Maybe a little more. I'm going to start by just taking one of my wispier pieces and I'm going to put it in the background. On one end, it's going to be overlapping just a little because I don't want the pine to necessarily show through. Pick another piece and put it down here. If you don't have something like this at home already, and maybe you have a thrift store that you don't particularly care for, take an old wreath or an old swag or an old garland that you already have and pull the pieces off. You can certainly reuse things that you've had in the past and repurpose them. I'm calling this a Dollar Tree product because you really can get everything you need from the Dollar Tree. Although some of my products that you see here are actually, you know, thrifted pieces, but you can get them at Dollar Tree. Something very similar. Okay, so you can see here I'm kind of going with the taper and I'm just using the pine in the background to kind of give me my borders and my boundaries for where I am putting my pieces of this I don't know if I want to call this a vine or what this is, this, these green pieces that I'm putting in. But I think the color is much better for fall than the bright green pine, of course. But you know pines are evergreens, right? So they're always going to be green and all year round they're always going to look the same, even in the fall. Yep. Okay, so you can see the shape that I got here directly pointing outward on each end and then at an angle crossed over on each end kind of moving inward a little bit and now working from the center I'm just going to add a piece here this is going to be pointing upward and I'm just going to wrap it you can see that these little wired pieces really help lock those greenery pieces down my videos are Mondays and Thursdays at 5 y'all now I'm going to start working with my pretty, I think these are oak leaves, yeah. I'm going to start putting these down. Now I said thrifted because I'm pretty sure this, particularly, this particular greenery 
was from a thrifted wreath that I have, but it might not be because I had another wreath too that I repurposed that was something that I had had for years. So I'm not exactly sure because these had been pulled apart like this for years. I just used them again and again because I love the coloring in it. All right, so we're gonna use kind of the same pattern that we did when we put the other pieces down and we're just gonna add our, our greenery or our leaves right on top of that. You're layering here, right? And I'm sure to make sure that the tips of the leaves are hanging over the edge of the swag. Now, for some of you who are familiar with wreath making and swag making, you probably don't want to see this in normal speed. But it is helpful from the information I've been getting, the feedback. It is helpful for some people to be able to look a little bit longer and be able to see what I'm doing a little bit more thoroughly. So I'm going to do this. Um, in honor of those viewers and subscribers that need a little extra time. So you can see how it's looking so far. They always look terrible before they start looking good. And I would say that this looks pretty rough right now. These have little wired ends and then sometimes you can just kind of thread them through what's underneath if you're going to keep them inside. However, if you're going to be putting these outside, you should probably be adding a little bit of Gorilla Glue to the picks before you put them down or maybe putting a little Gorilla Glue over the areas where you have them pinned. Okay, you see, so this piece just came apart here. I'm just going to glue it back on. No big deal. That was easy enough, wasn't it? I'm going to take my other little pieces here, and this is a different type, but pretty much the same coloring. I'm going to add that. I love the bright colors in this. And I'm just going to continue to put these around where I see that they need to be put. But everything is kind of facing outward from the center. That's what we want because we're going to do something different in the center. I'm going to put these little berry pods and cut them apart in little pieces, leaving enough stem for me to add glue so that I can place them down in there. I know I'm kind of out of camera angle. Y'all yeah, gotta tell you, I do get out of out of um, the vision of the camera sometimes is because I consider myself an intuitive crafter. Meaning when I get in the flow of something, all of the technical stuff just falls away and I am exactly doing what I feel looks right. And I just kind of go with my gut. So that's kind of why I'm not like perfect with the camera, but you get what I'm what I'm talking about, right? You understand? I know a lot of people say that they craft that way too, so. Moving along, we're gonna start adding those beautiful sunflowers. I'm gonna add one to each end, and then I'll start adding the smaller ones because there were larger and smaller ones on the same pick. If that's not the situation for you and you have all one size, that is not a big deal. It will not matter at all. So now I'm gonna put the sunflower a little bit off from the center and we're beginning to work toward the center. You can see now, and the things in the center are gonna be a little bit taller than what you have on the sides and on the ends. We're building it upward because this swag could actually be used as a centerpiece. Isn't that great? Two and one. Now I'm gonna add in the little orange flowers. I like a variety of textures and sizes. Um, if you saw my last video where I did the really pretty wreath, um, yeah, I just, I just like a variety of textures and things. It's more interesting, I think, to me. And you want a little movement, you know? I think it's pretty. So this is a hot bush. I started off by pushing up after I, you know, they were cut off, pushing the leaves up to the top so they'll be seen. And I'm going to put these in threes on the top in two areas. So there's my first bundle of three. Over here, I'm going to add another bundle of three because I had so much orange and yellow going on there that I wanted to break it up with a little bit of this cream color. And then single here and on the other side. Then I'm going to take three of them together and put them right together in the center, either bottom or top, whichever way. And if you're hanging it, then it's going to be on the side. No big deal. Okay, so when you get to this point, you can go ahead and tuck under any of the greenery that you don't want seen from the pine. Just tuck that under. You can fold it, tuck it. You can add more greenery if you want to do that. So once you do that, you're going to have a little extra space. I just went ahead and used berry picks here. I'm going to take some of this, I believe it's called pitberry, pitberry vine. 
And you can get these in the little rounds at Dollar Tree. Almost every season they have them in different colors. These are gold. I took one strand of it, wound it around the end of a uh, tool, and just cut it in half. And I'm going to pull it out and just glue it down kind of out from where the sunflowers are. You'll see in just a minute. There you go. Just a little extra something. And you can do more of these or you can leave this out if you want to. And this is how it is going to look. Gorgeous. And it would be pretty if you flipped it over and did the other side or if you want to use it for you know a swag if you wanted to put it above your door you could do it that way you could use it in many positions and you could put it on your table it would be very pretty as well so if you decide that you do want to hang it as a swag we're going to use a little bit of burlap and I'll show you how to make that tie for the back very simple you're just gonna double up one piece pull the knot down where you want it and then you have your loop so this is a hanging loop flip it over and then you can just use the same little branches from that Dollar Tree Christmas tree and just twist it around, poke it down in there, twist it so that it will hang up. It's not heavy at all, so um, no worries about that. Again, use hot glue if you need to. Next is our metal sign. Y'all, we are going to be using all kinds of Dollar Tree stuff in here. Here's ribbon from Dollar Tree. These paints actually did not come from Dollar Tree, but I have a brown and an orange. This is from Dollar Tree, and I just recently found it. And then these window clings right here. These are from last year. I love this one, and it fits perfectly on this frame. Use whichever ones you can find, whichever ones you really like. Hey, go back through your stuff from last year. What did you leave off? What did you not use? Go ahead and use them now. It's still early. I am going to water down these paints because I want them to be more like a stain. So just a drop of paint and a little drop of water. And then I'm going to use my brush to paint. So I'm going to cover the yellow leaf with this brown. And this is mm, maybe fawn brown. Doesn't really matter. This is a pumpkin orange. I love these little wooden leaves. They're so cute. You can get these at Dollar Tree. Something similar to it. Then I'm going to pat them dry, and this is how it looks, so you can see through it. I'm going to take this ribbon and do two pieces of 18-inch cuts, and then we're going to make a very simple bow. You can see I've got two little ears, and I'm going to wrap one around the other and poke it right through that little hole. pull out the little ears and pull down the tails and then I'm going to cut them. You can do whatever cut you want here. I just made the front a little shorter than the back just for some dimension. There's one option for you for these but if you prefer you could do something like this and this is the way I like it. I have a thing for bows off to the side. I think if you've seen my videos in the past you know that this is a pattern for me but I'm okay with that. That's just my thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue those wood leaves together and I'm going to put this one down. A little pretty bow right on top. I think they coordinate nicely and they're really nice on this little sign. Now we're gonna do a triple frame decor piece. Also with Dollar Tree things. This set of window clings. Here are my four by four little floating frames, whatever you want to call these. This is how you open these up. You're just going to undo the back. The two glasses come apart and place one back down and then you're going to pull your paper off. Now I don't know why in the world they would do this on glass, but I don't work for Dollar Tree. I can't tell them. This is a piece of double stick tape, I think. But it is very difficult to get off. I didn't want to scratch my glass with any metal, so I grabbed my Goo Gone, sprayed it on there, and then kind of rubbed it in with my finger, and then took a plastic scraper and took off the residue. Now, after you do this, you're going to have to take it and clean it with some soap and water or glass cleaner because this has a oily residue. And it can be quite messy. But it will come off. It will uh, take it off of the glass. 
You can also use this on your other projects you need the tags removed from. So you can see on those window clings, they have a background. And when you peel them off, you'll still see that background, which is not going to coordinate with what I have going on. So what you need to do is cut as close as you can on the backing. Leave it on your backing and go all the way around the edges. Don't worry if you can't get it perfect right now. You can always go back over it. Grab some scrap paper that you like. And this is a pack that I got on clearance from Michaels last year. Beautiful pieces. And this is what I do when I am choosing a background or something. I, I just lay it on top of it and see what it looks like. That's all I do. Simple. I'm sure you do the same thing. But this is easier than just imagining it and running across the room to look it up. And then it's not the right thing. So this is how I do it. And I love this piece. Now, you can take your pane of glass and cut this. 12 by 12 piece of paper into four pieces and use my frame to get a nice perfect edge and we know it's going to fit so i'm going to take my little wheat paper and sandwich it between my clean glass both pieces be careful because the edges can be sharp on this glass y'all be super careful we're going to take that flipped over frame lay it right on the inside you don't need to glue it or anything it'll stay right in place lock it back into place and then we turn it over and decide where to put my little pumpkin cup i want to use these uh pop-up stickers you can get something similar at the dollar tree i'm not exactly sure what they're called but i have gotten them there before these are just some i already had and then this is going to give us some dimension and shadow only press down where you have your stickers so you don't mess up your pretty flat piece. Thank y'all so much. I am so close to my 15,000 subscriber goal that I cannot even stand it. I mean, I can actually taste it. So close. I appreciate y'all so much for being here and watching my videos. I've had over 850,000 views, which is amazing. And I'm almost to 15,000 subscribers. So thank you for everything you do. I appreciate you so very much. So same story on this next piece. And I'm gonna choose another one. I like this one. I've trimmed it all down. I'm gonna put some of these pop-up stickers on the back of it. And then remembering where I put it, I'm just gonna press down so I don't dent any of my picture. And here is the second one. Okay, this is the third and final one. I'm gonna use this pumpkin. You can mix and match if you want it to also. You can cut these in half. Mine went flying. So after I found it, I put it in place. And then you can just flip it over and center it as much as you want. Put it where you want in the frame. Maybe you don't want it in the center. Maybe you want it off to the side. That is totally cool. Press it down. And there's the third one. So now we can take our three and decide what we want to do to put them together. So I thought these little wood pieces would be cool. You can put these wood pieces in between to make them look linked. Or you can use beads. You can use certainly the beads that you get from Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna start by going by measurements here to find the center of my frames. Because I wanna put the little bead down in the center of the two frames that are gonna be on the side. Then I'm just going to flood it with a little bit of glue inside of the openings to make sure that it stays down. And then once it's cool, I'm going to start assembling it and putting it together. Now these beads are not going to hold this good and tight, um, but we're going to reinforce it on the back so that they'll stay together. Going to add a little dot of glue, put them together, grab a ruler or a straight edge and put underneath it so that you get these in the right flat position and we're going to do that for this side just add some glue either on the bead or the frame and you're going to pull it down you don't want to lift anything up at this point because they're going to just come right apart after they've dried carefully flip them over then you can take a popsicle stick grab a sharpie paint it black or you can get a, your paint or a furniture a black furniture marker any of those things and then you're gonna trim it down into two pieces. 
that you can put across the back. These need to be smaller than the, the uh, bead that you have so that you really don't see them. They kind of disappear. And then do the same thing on the other side. Just like that. Y'all, we're getting close to the, to the end of the crafts here. And I want to let you know that I have a little extra on the end of the video. For those of you who like to take a look around my house, my home, my property, I've got a little something extra for you down there. So be sure after you see the final look that you check it out. Okay, so here's the trio that we did. Love it. And there's so many beautiful window clings that you can get at Dollar General and Dollar Tree and even Walmart, I think for 98 cents, that you can make these signs. I believe in you and I know that you can do these projects. I know it without a doubt. If you're a thrifter and you don't do the Dollar Tree thing, go and get your florals. Search for them all year. I would love for you to subscribe to this channel if you're a viewer and you haven't yet. It helps me so much and I appreciate it so very much. I'll never get tired of telling you thank you because I really honestly mean it. Congrats to the winner of the 14,000 subscriber giveaway. Awesome job, Miss Kim. Your package will be coming soon. If you would, please share this video. It helps get my crafts out to more people. It helps get my name known. And it helps my channel grow. And I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the clip. Up, up, up in a painted cup I would pour my love from a cloud above So bright I can see the lights Taking you up and above the blue sky Tastes good to be drinking all of the honey sweet brew of ours Up, up in a painted cup Right in the sky like a firefly Like a firefly I believe to believe I believe to believe is to see how the present comes from dreams. Up, up, up in a painted cup, I will paraglide across the sky. Let flowers and tiny hearts shape in a line in the cup of ours. So sweet like a honeybee can buzz around a honey tree. Up, up in a painted cup, right in the sky like a firefly. A firefly. I believe to believe is to feel the fire grow within. I believe to believe is to see how the present comes from dreams. Color in my life. My love, my love, 
Meine 